so we're going to make an Ionic 2 camera app today and it's going to be using Ionic Native 3.x. To get started, simply run Ionic Start Camera Blank V2. When you've done that, you can install the Cordova plugin by running Cordova plugin add Cordova plugin camera. Awesome. We'll now have to include the Ionic Native plugin for the camera. Do that by typing npm install at Ionic Native camera. And we can save that to the project. I'm then going to run Ionic Serve so we can see it in the browser. And then I'm going to simply open it up in VS Code. Okay, to start with, let's build out our view. So let's navigate to the source directory, then pages, then home. Let's rename our title to Ionic 2 Camera. Let's then change our navbar color to primary to make it blue. Then we're simply going to have an image element right here. And the source of which is going to be equal to our image. And then we're going to have a button down here. And it's simply going to say take picture. The button's going to have a click event. And that's basically going to say take picture. In our home TS, we need to first off make the image element. That's going to be a string. And let's just quickly mock out our function. It's going to be async. It's going to be called take picture. And it's going to return a promise like so. To use an async function, we'll have to go to tsconfig and make the target ES6. Awesome. Now we can go over to app, module, and import camera from Ionic Nerve camera. We then need to add this to our providers, like so. And then we can use the camera within our app. So if we go back to home, we can start filling out this function. We're simply going to say this.image is equal to the resolved promise, using the await keyword, of this.camera.getPicture. And that's going to have an options variable with it too. I'm going to quickly comment this out for now, but that's essentially what we're going to be doing. We can import camera at the top here from Ionic Native, like so. And then we can instantiate it within our constructor. So private camera, camera, like that. So you can see our function now nearly works. It just needs an options. To get options, we can get it out of the Ionic Native camera libraries, like this, camera options. And we can make a new options within our class. Cool, there we go. Now, right now, we would have to also add a try catch block to this. And then we could simply log out any exception. Now, right now, this would work on the phone. If we simply click take picture, let's have a quick look at any errors that we might be getting in the console. And we're getting the, the error Cordova not available, which is completely fine because, like I said, we're on a desktop. But what happens if we want to debug this on a desktop? Well, with Ionic Native 3.0, we can navigate back to app module and we can create our own sort of mocked camera. I'm simply going to make a new file called camera.mock.ts. So within camera mock, we can import camera from Ionic Native Camera and then we can make our own mocked class. So we can simply say export class camera mock and it's going to extend the camera. And what this essentially means is that we can make our own get picture function, which will return a base64 image and act like it would on the device. So I'm simply going to make a get picture function. And as you can see, this simply returns a new promise, which resolves a image, an image uh, as base64. All we need to do now is go over to app module and simply choose a different provider for our camera. So we're going to import camera mock from camera.mock and we're still going to provide camera but we're going to use the class camera mock and while we're in development that should allow us to get an idea of how it works without having to run it on the device every time. We can see when we click take picture our photo appears as if it was taken via the camera. To simply use this on a device without mocking the functionality we can remove camera mock and put back our simple camera provider. If we were to press take picture on the device, it would come up with the camera. After that, we would be simply showing it right here. I hope this has helped and it allows you to add a camera to your Ionic 2 app. 
If it has, I would love you to click that subscribe button and check out learnionic2.com for more information.